I mean, I have it on me. Uh, I have it on me in her corners as well. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and this was sort of kind of like a hodgepodge makeup week. Um, kind of had some like easy makeup days, but then I was loving a certain palette also, loving some neutrally pinky lips still. So overall, that's kind of sort of the theme but it's a little bit all over the place. So let's get to the favorites. So the eyeshadow palette that I grabbed for several times this week is this one. This is the Juvia's Place of the Heron palette. I've already mentioned this several times on my channel. I've done a tutorial with it. Um, I do have a whole video on my three different Juvia's Place palettes that I own where I swatch them all, let you know my thoughts, let you know my favorite, which is just my favorite. So broke it out again this week. This is so beautiful. I really feel like this shadow right here is worth owning the whole palette just for that because it's so stinking amazing so stinking amazing and then I also wore this orangey shade and this orangey shade I don't know why I skipped a finger why did I do that and then I wore this one quite a bit this week just as a blending shade like today I have a really easy eye look I have this on in my crease a little combination of these two, mostly this and just the tiniest little bit of this in my outer corner and then another shadow that I'm about to mention to you. So let me just swatch this real quick for you. Just a really pretty, easy blending shade. I am so impressed with their eyeshadows. They just like blend like a dream, wear like a dream, look beautiful on the eyes. Oh my goodness, like this is just so pretty. Gorgeous. And the um, tutorial that I did with this palette, I had to use this shadow. So if you like that shadow and you want to see a look with it, check out that tutorial. And the other shadow that I'm wearing on my eyes today is this one. This is Maybelline's The Glow Down. This was also the one that I was wearing on like easy makeup days this week. This is just such a pretty, simple, gorgeous gold. Like, it's just beautiful. It's a very champagne-y gold. Um, on easy makeup days, I was using this on my eyes, which is some liner and a little bit of bronzer in my crease. And then I was also using it as my highlighter on my cheeks. So it's just super versatile and really nice. Like, it's that kind of um, thicker sort of consistency where it really builds on itself really well. So, you know, one little swipe of it is light, but then if you keep building it, like either on your cheeks or on your eyes, it really can get like very intense and beautiful. So nice and like a few bucks, like two or three bucks. So can't go wrong with that. So if you're looking for some glow, go get you some Maybelline the Glow Down because you'll get it. It's right here. For blush this week, I would have to say that this is my overall standout favorite. This is the NARS Dual Intensity Blush in Fervor. Now this really is an interesting product. Like I love this on my face. I love the end result. I have both of them on today. I have a little bit of this like kind of more up here, but then I also have a highlight that I'm about to mention to you. Uh, but then I also have this a little bit lower on my cheeks. Um, so what I like, Feel about this blush is that it's beautiful when you get it on it has this gorgeous like kind of just lit from within glow because these have like a little bit of like a sheen to them they're really really beautiful but they do take some building so well I feel like in a swatch they don't look like they do but I feel like with a brush not this one this one's pigmented right off but this one I feel like I have to build it a little bit um, which this is pricey. So it could kind of make you go, hmm, like why do I have to do building? But it's not like it's not pigmented. It's sort of moving towards that like Clinique blush situation where it just takes some building, uh, but it's, you know, relatively easy to work with. But this takes even more building than the Clinique ones to me. So I don't know, that was just kind of a little tangent. Things that I noticed about the formula with this. So you might have to build it up a little bit with at least this color, not with that one again. That one's just like, whoa, right off, pigmented. Um, but once you get it on your cheeks, you've got that really pretty, just like youthful glow. It's really like, um, I feel like blushes that have just a little bit of that sheen have more of a natural look on the cheeks than like a matte. Um, kind of like that satin, 
to this amount of glow I feel like is like the perfect spot where you have just that little bit of glow that looks really natural and beautiful on the skin. So those are probably like my favorite overall types of blushes, I would say. So anyway, tangent, this was the blush that I was wearing this week and it's really, really beautiful, but it's pricey. It is pricey for sure. I busted out this highlighter this week. I haven't worn this in a while and I remember not being like jumping up and down excited over it when I first got it but I put it on randomly one day this week and you know looked in the mirror later and I was like whoa what highlighter am I wearing I'm lacking that highlighter and it was this so I feel like I've kind of like not given it enough credit and really like haven't fallen in love with it until this week so what is it let me tell you some more details so you actually know what I'm talking about this is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator, and this is in Peach Glow. You know, um, Gilded Honey gets a lot of attention for good reason, because it's gorgeous. And then Charming Pink gets, you know, a fair amount of attention. But I feel like Peach Glow is kind of like the overlooked one. And again, when I first got it, I was kind of like, oh, that's pretty, but it wasn't my favorite. But man. I was loving it this week. It is just this gorgeous, like, champagne with just a hint of, like, dreamsicle, peachy glow to it. It's just gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I love it. So yeah, like, if you've kind of overlooked this one, maybe give it a shot. I mean, I have it on me, uh, I have it on me inner corners as well. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I said me instead of I have it on my inner corners of my eyes as well. Um, so yeah, gorgeous peachy highlight that I was loving this week. Now onto lips. I have a few lip favorites for the week. So first off, this one. This is the CoverGirl Katie Cat Pearl. And this is in Purdy in Pink. I think this is a limited edition color. I think there were like four different ones on the display. A couple orangey shades. This one... And I don't remember what else. Maybe like a peachy and then a couple kind of orangey reds. I don't remember, but I got the pink one. Um, and I wore it this week and I think it's just really fun. It is a very kind of like bright bubblegum 80s metallic -y looking pink, but I like it. And I was really enjoying it this week. What I don't like about these CoverGirl lipsticks is the smell and the taste are heinous. They're so terrible. They're like... Oh man, yeah, 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 yeah. That's bad. It's like um, really chemically. For the longest time, I could not handle these at all. I've kind of gotten to the point where I can handle the smell of them, but I have to wipe them off before I eat anything because you can taste that like weird chemically sort of taste to it, and it's just really bad. I don't know why I started to show you the swatch again, but here's the swatch. <laughs> But that's just an FYI. If you're sensitive to scents and especially taste with products, I don't know about this, but you know, it's a pretty color and I was loving it this week. I just had to overlook the smell and I had to wipe it off before I ate anything. But anyway, it's a fun, pearly, 80s looking pink. Then if you saw my video that I put up Monday, I did a makeup swap with my sweet friend Lori. That was so fun. So I've just barely kind of started diving into playing with all the goodies that she totally spoiled me with. And these are definite standout goodies for the week. Love these. So these are both, I think this one you can get online, which is Annabelle. So I'll get to that in a second. But this one I think you can only get in Canada. So you Canadian beauties that can get Canadian makeup, I'm so jealous, but you need to check this out because this is gorgeous. This is the Joe Fresh Cream Lipstick, and this is in Rose. This is what I'm wearing right now. This is the most beautiful. Go with everything. Wear it every day. Pink, rosy lipstick. It's so beautiful. It's like neutral enough, but has enough color to it. It's really, really comfortable on the lips really comfortable. I feel like it's that perfect balance where um, it's creamy enough to be comfortable, but it doesn't move. Like it's not super creamy where it gets everywhere. It's just that perfect balance. I love the formula on it and I love the color. It's just got this beautiful little bit of like a cream finish to it. Oh, it's awesome. I think it smells good too. Does it smell good? 
I thought it, oh, maybe it was the other ones. There were other lipsticks that she sent me that smelled really good. This doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't have a scent to it. But those other ones smelled really good. I think those were maybe Annabelle. I can't remember. But anyway, this is what I was loving this week. And then this lip gloss, y'all. This lip gloss is so pretty. I'm going to keep wearing this into next week. Just an FYI, I might have to include this in next week's favorites too because I don't want to stop wearing this. This is the Annabelle Big Show Lacquer Lip Lacquer. And this is in Adore Simply. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It's like a nude, but it's got like a little bit of peachiness to it and it's got a sheen to it. The sheen, the sheen is what makes this so gorgeous. So I wore it with a little bit of lip liner, a little bit of tawny, and yeah, it's just absolute perfection. It's so, so pretty. It's just a neutral, go with everything, kind of a glossy color, but just that sheen to it. It's just, ugh, I don't know. It's like little itty, itty bitty micro shimmer. That's perfect. I don't remember creamy and comfortable. I was trying to remember. I didn't remember it being sticky at all. So I just kind of like felt it again. Nah, just a little bit so it'll stick around but not uncomfortably sticky at all. So loving that gloss this week. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.